Hey there everybody, Pop on Top here. Welcome back to some more Fallout 4 mods. In today's mod we have a new player home. This is the USS Quincy, the Minutemen player home. You know, the Quincy, right? It's currently down here. We're at the very south side of the map, right? So Quincy's right over here. Um, the wreck of the Northern, the FMS Northern Stars right here. We're at Warmer Home said There's probably bad guys up here, so we're just kind of try to avoid that to a certain degree. And we're going to go around. There is apparently a quest line here where we have to like defend this ship from pirates or something. I don't really know, but we're going to go try to do that. We'll just kind of going in here raw, seeing how this thing goes. I do have my IMI Uzi mod here. There's definitely a big old ship here that is very cool looking. I mean, it is very cool, I think, to have a player home that's a big, ginormous ship, right? Let's just avoid all that. There's definitely going to be, yeah, there's definitely something blowing up over here. And first and foremost, get rid of the wildlife. There's definitely some stuff blowing up. Pirates. There is definitely pirates here attacking this thing, so I guess we'll just run in like a maniac. We'll take care of all this. Hello, pirates. Pirates. Hello, pirates. Some of y'all got like rocket launchers or some stuff. I don't know if those are like people on the thing defending it. There seems to be a lot of stuff popping off. We'll take careful bat shots because I don't want to accidentally shoot any good people on here. It's Barbosa! He's the guy with the. Oh, are these guys pirates too? You, you, you know, you're Joshua Humphreys and Osanka Badger. Okay, names, man. No, let's get up to Barbosa. Let's shoot that man in the head. You got a crit. Just crit him in the head. You did not die to one crit. Impressive. You, you got an impressive level boss content. That hurt too, Barbosa. Okay, Barbosa dead. Did we successfully liberate the, the ship from pirates? Kind of like a lot of things here. Where's Barbosa? I want to see his corpse. He's probably got like some like legendary loot, right? That's the whole idea. Just checking around. Hello, peoples. Would one of you happen to be the Capitan? I mean, there's like plants and stuff already growing on here. There's dog captain's quarters. Is this my my spot? This is my player homie spot. We'll get. Well, I mean, we're gonna get into all this. I want to get to Barbosa. He's on this though. How do we to like do some hardcore parkour to get up here? There we go. You got a missile launcher, a T-45 power armor, nothing that good. You get a Corsair uniform. Is he a Corsair then? Like a Corsair pirate? That'd be pretty fucking crazy. The lore implications. <laughs> anyway, I don't know. I mean, this is our player home. I guess we got people here. Can we talk to these people? Yeah. They just say yeah? They're just people? Hey, looking uh, not right now, not thank you. Whoa, huh? it just big real zoomed into my face real fucking fast. Like, oh shit. I did not see that one coming. That hard. We, we were puppers here, though. Hello, puppers. We have two puppers. We cannot talk to the puppers. There's two puppers, though, to defend our, our home here. Got some power running around here. We do have a weapon workbench here. Oh, that's an armor workbench. My bad. Oh, what is this? This is like... Is that something here? Oh, it's just cloth and wood. Okay, I thought it was like, do something with the boat. I was like, that'd be pretty fucking crazy. Like, actually, like, go someplace with it. Um, is it just a player home just because you say it is? Like, essentially, because we can sleep here or whatever and fast travel here and stuff? Or is there like like an actual workbench where we can start crafting things? I don't see a workbench, but that doesn't mean there isn't one. This is a cool little like definitely like old school pirate ship. We got cannons and stuff, or like you know revolutionary warship. They're loading the cannons and stuff. Or repairing repairing a cannon with a wrench. Let's just let's pretend we didn't see that. It's fine. Why is that the pirate's definitely wearing a dress? You know, pirates, man. So we do have some power here, though. Like, I'm curious, because, like, you think... I mean, that's obviously on fire, though. Let's just... <laughs> this is def... Can I... Now I'm, I'm stuck. Oh, no. Don't be stuck. Don't do that. But, I mean, it's a cool ship. But I would like a workbench. Customization is cool. Is there anything around here? I mean, obviously, there's some stuff. There is the stuff you need here. I mean, we could take all these Brahmin hides. Chemistry station. Ribeye steak, sure. You know, water. There's more beds in here. Obviously, like, like it would be a functional sediment. We got enough beds for all the people. We got an outhouse potty thing, right? We got a big old pile of flaming garbage. You know, some flaming tires and branches and stuff for heat. Let me put my gun away real quick. I don't want to accidentally shoot at any of my friendly Minutemen people, I guess. They all had Molotovs. These, these, these god dang pirates and their Molotovs. Another one in the dress. I don't think your doctor's leg. Right, why not? I mean, it is a cool little quest to get here and fight off some pirates. It is, is a fun little thing, but there's not really too much to this here. It's, it is a, it's a player home as far as I know by name here, because, it, you know, it is, by definition. 
but there's not a huge amount going on here. I say an armor workbench. We don't have weapons though. No weapon workbench. Just armor. We do have some food growing here, and I suppose you could harvest this and then take it for yourself. But it doesn't actually count as a settlement, which is fair because it's technically labeled as a player home. I don't understand the difference there. We can't even interact with the power. The power is doing power things. I'm just like climbing up on things. Is there like a way to get up top? No, probably not. Like you know. Oh no! Absolutely climb up. Haha, <laughs> I was wrong. It's okay that I'm wrong. So you can climb up to the top here, which is cool. Like, you know, that it exists at all, right? Obviously, we can do some cool things here where we get up on this and we just dive, except for we totally fall early. My balance, my character's balancing skills are not very good. But, you know, it is a play realm. You, you would essentially fast travel to the to the captain's quarters, um, right? And then you could live here. This is your little, I guess you're the captain now. And you got a pupper. I like myself some poppers. You got some crates to store your stuff. I mean, it's a pretty basic in terms of player home, but it is cool. Is it lore friendly? I don't know. Is, would there be pirates? I mean, it, like, it's essentially pirates, just a raider. There's not, the, the distinction there is not that great, I think. Um, and you do have some people here who obviously are on your side, right? They won't shoot at you unless you shoot at them, I imagine. I suppose if you wanted to, you could kill them all and be like, nah, fuck y'all. It's my shit. I don't want y'all to share it with me or nothing. Um, but it is, it's got some cool textures to it, you know, some unique stylings to it. It's not like this, there's like a pirate ship type ship or whatever. The USS Quincy existed in any kind of real form um, previously. So obviously somebody had to go around and customly make this. Probably take, you know, other assets and stuff. Put them all together. I wouldn't be surprised if this kind of mod was on PS4 though. Because it doesn't look like it uses stuff that, that couldn't have existed in the base game. Right, which is a positive thing. P like PlayStation users should deserve mods and stuff too. And player homes are always kind of a cool thing if you ask me. I might live here for a little while, so you guys might see me spawn in here. The, the unfortunate thing is that we're missing some critical com, some critical things, you know, like a weapon workbench. I saw the chemistry station, which is important. That's very important, and, we're, and we have an armor workbench, but no weapon workbench. Is there like an under deck or something we can get to? Oh, we could just totally open it up. <laughs> see? I'm very bad at these kind of things, you guys, okay? Like, my perception is real low in real life. No judgments allowed, though. <laughs> it's a cool ship. But I like the fact that there's an under part of the ship and we could do this totally other thing with it. It took a long time to load in. To be honest. Like, I have an Xbox Series X and that was a long load time just to get into a thing. It must be big in here. Do we have, like, a prisoner? Apparently. We have a gorilla. Hello? Gorilla? Wait, I don't know. Why is there a gorilla on this ship? <laughs> Motherfuckers, who put this motherfucking gorilla on the ship? So, uh, obviously this is the ship that you run into in the main part of the quest. I hear people making noises, which is scaring the fuck out of me. Is that the gorilla just walking around? There's a pool table, that's cool, you know? There's some stylings and stuff. There's obviously, like, actually, like, a whole little town down here. I was like, oh, it's just a tiny little ship. Never mind. It's huge. So we got, like, what, like a food store here? Or, like, just a kitchen, just through cooking and stuff? There's people down here working, cooking, selling things. You sell actual things? Can I get you a drink? Yeah, sure. sure. I just want to see what you have Let's in your stock. Bar's open. So this is, yeah, like it's actually like it's all fully functioning ship economy. The kitchen terminal, what does this do? There's so many things to find here now. Brahmin troubles. This is, there's a hollow tape, which is a recipe. This past Tuesday, we lost the third Brahmin this month. Luckily, I noticed the carcass early enough to salvage some meat. I told Jane the seawater is making them sick, but she is convinced that it doesn't harm them. We can't afford the drinking water anymore, but how am I supposed to feed all these people? So they're running out of resources. So that's probably why they had to land on land, and then when they did, raider pirates came for them. Hey, looking for a weapon? Sure, you sell guns. Cool. I mean, that's You've come to the right place. His, his mouth is not moving. Not, that's not me judging him or anything. But he does sell, you know, weapons. These are these are weapons you'd find, you know, in the base game. That's 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 that right? Like there's there's a weapon salesman and a food, you know, food and drink salesman. There's a quantum in here, in the drink dispenser. The special machine also has a quantum. I mean, it's worth just downloading this just to steal all the quantums. Quantum's so good. Ah, you get stuck. Okay, don't get stuck on things. So is there, there's even more floors down. Dude, I, I was lying to you guys. I apologize if you clicked off of the video not knowing. There's another chemistry station. Is this not a chemistry? Yeah, it is a chemistry There's like a tongues and stuff to interact with. There is a workbench here. So now we can build stuff. But oh, can we build stuff outside now? Or there's just a supply inside. There's also music playing. Copyright, 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 copyright. I have to say just words. So I just think of what I'm thinking about. We do have the armor workbench again. 
with scissors on it just to get in your way. So you can arm. We got power armor stations. It was with power armor. There's T51 here and T51 here, and we have like a lot of you know loot junk. Another chemistry station. Did we get that weapon? Another armor workbench. Do so y'all know that guns need to be maintained and stuff? Because I was talking about that. No weapon workbench. And I still don't see one. Also, I have extremely low perception, and I should turn on the flashlight because I'm also like blind in the darkness. Okay, but I, oh, there's the weapon workbench. We got one weapon workbench right here, with a 44 Magnum attachments and stuff. I want to see now if we can if we can do the whole settlement type crafting thing because we could obviously do it in here. Yeah, this whole area is definitely applicable. That was it caught some weird flickering there. We can, you know so you can customize this. You can get rid of some of the things. You can add more things. Obviously. I wouldn't expect it to work flawlessly. I don't think, you know, the, the settlement system ever was designed to be working inside of a, a ship. But, you know, there it is. Can we, can we do it now? No. It does not apply outside. Okay. Just to be very clear. The, the inside of the ship is essentially the settlement. Which is cool. It is very cool. It's a very unique kind of player home settlement aspect. You have a lot of fucking people here, too. Which makes it unique and interesting as well. It's definitely something I'm going to play around with more. But I definitely think it's a mod you guys should check out. It's not even that large. Right, in terms of its file size, because you're using most of the in-game assets already, just organizing them in a fashion that you'd want to have your own little player ship home. You got a decent view here. Like, I, I have a, a new settlement I added to the game kind of way over there. But, I mean, you can see quite a distant ways here. Almost in a downtown. Not quite, the downtown's way over there. You're, you're very much the south side of the map. But it's, it, you know, and you have to be able to get down here. Obviously, if you just started the game over again, you're not going to get to the very bottom of the map right away. But it is cool. I like that they're, they're allied by, with a Minutemen kind of by default, or in the lore explanation of it, this is like a Minutemen ship that goes around doing things with cannons and shooting people and all those kinds of stuff. I mean, that's pretty cool. I do think so, right? So, if you guys want to check out this model for yourselves, the USS Quincy Minutemen Player Home, you should check out the top link in the description. There'll be linked there to the Bethesda on that page. You can download this model for yourselves there. If you guys have enjoyed the video, please make sure you like rating down below. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe that we can check out more videos from me. And pretty much other than that, you guys have a good rest of your day, whatever it may be, and I will see you in the next episode.